One of the biggest mistakes a copywriter can make is using the exact same hook and headline for every single audience. Think about it, the way you capture the attention of a random scroller by on Facebook is very different from how you'd capture the attention of your most loyal subscribers. So today I'm talking about how to write headlines the right way based on the five levels of customer awareness. Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome back to the Copy Posse YouTube channel. Today I am sharing more copywriting tips on how to write headlines that will hook, connect, and convert because when it comes to getting the attention of the person you want, at the moment you want it, it's not enough to just have an irresistible offer. In order to compel action, you need to get inside the minds of your customers and speak to them in a way that meets them where they are at. Now, you guys have heard me talk all about the importance of creating a clear and specific avatar, the demographic and psychographic traits that define your ideal target market. And yes, that is absolutely important. You need to have a clear idea of who your target audience is, but that is still not enough. There is one more incredibly important factor that you need to take into account when writing your headlines and the rest of your ads, landing pages, and sales pages for that matter, and that is the level of customer awareness. Customer awareness is a term coined by none other than Eugene Schwartz, the godfather of marketing and the author of this book, Breakthrough Advertising. Customer awareness refers to the degree to which your prospect is aware that you can help them solve their pain. Have they heard of your product? Have they purchased from you before? Are they aware that a solution such as yours exists? Wait, do they even know that they have the problem that you're aiming to solve? Who exactly are you writing for? Knowing the answers to these questions is so important when it comes to setting the right context for your copywriting campaigns. They might already be a loyal customer, an online fan or follower, a brand new email subscriber, or maybe they are seeing you for the very first time as they're scrolling by on Facebook. Where they are on their buying journey greatly impacts the way in which you speak to these audiences. They all have different needs and desires, and therefore a one-size-fits-all approach will not work. So in order to write compelling and effective headlines, you must take into account a customer's level of awareness. If not, you run the risk of selling too soon and turning people off and possibly losing them forever. The best copywriters take the time to understand a customer's journey so they know the right time to educate and indoctrinate, the right time to problem solve, and the right time to sell. And that, my friends, is what I am here for every single week. I release a new video tutorial on copywriting, marketing, and branding tips for freelancers and entrepreneurs. So if you're not already part of the raddest crew of copywriters on the internet, go ahead and hit subscribe below. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any more videos from me. All right, now let's explore the right way to write headlines at each level of customer awareness. And make sure to stick to the end of this video as I take you through my headline writing pyramid and guide and let you look over my shoulder as I show you how to write headlines at each level. Starting with level number one, totally unaware. So at this level of customer awareness, your prospect is not only completely unaware of you and your product, but they have no freaking clue that they even have the problem that you're helping solve. It's no surprise that these prospects require more indoctrination before you're able to sell them. So video, banner, and native ads with broad targeting often speak to this type of audience. You want to grab attention quickly with a powerful hook and then help your audience diagnose or understand a problem they don't know they have. This is often done through story, secrets, or education. So think quizzes and science and content marketing or any copy with a more indirect sales approach. So for example, when Lark came out as the first ever self-cleaning water bottle, let's face it, not many of us would have identified water bottle cleaning as a big problem in our lives, let alone care that a solution like that even existed. So when they first launched, rather than lead with the offer, Lark released a brilliant and funny video that educated people about the pros of having a self-cleaning water bottle, such as getting rid of harmful bacteria and that 
stanky overused water bottle smell that a lot of us can relate to. And this ad headline and hook is absolutely perfect for an unaware audience. What's inside your water bottle? Or don't get sick from your water bottle. The video then educates the audience on the harmful odor causing bacteria that lives inside your water bottle. This is brilliant because it takes a common everyday product that everyone uses and identifies a new possible problem. It very quickly takes people from unaware to problem aware, which leads us to level number two of customer awareness, problem aware. So at this level, your prospect is aware of the pain they need to solve, but they're still not aware of the solutions available, including your product. Now this is where empathy plays a very powerful role in copywriting because you need to speak to an issue or a concern that is very personal to your prospect and they need assurance that you have something that can actually help them achieve their desired outcome. So at this level, you wanna focus on pain, solution, and benefits. You often see copy that reflects this level of awareness in targeted ads based on an audience's online search behavior, demographics, or psychographics related to the core problem. So for example, for the millions of us who have experience with various diets and workout programs are likely aware of how our individual metabolic rate can make or break our results. But you may not be aware of a solution out there that actually helps you track and measure it. And in comes Lumen. Their website headline addresses anyone who is struggling with their metabolism. The first device to hack your metabolism. Lumen knows if your body is using fat or carbs for fuel. Wait, what? Hallelujah, pain, solution, benefit, boom, all in one product aware headline. And one of their Instagram posts has a great hook targeted to those who are looking to remain active and healthy from home in wake of the COVID-19 virus. You don't need to leave home to improve your metabolism. All right, now that takes us to level three of customer awareness, solution aware. So this prospect knows that there are solutions out there that address their problem or pain, which also means they have a clearer idea of what's possible for them to achieve. At this point, they are simply looking for the right solution for them and evaluating options. So at this level, social proof is gonna help you build the trust you need to hook your prospect. So gather up all of your testimonials and showcase happy customers. You also wanna make sure at this level to feature your product USP, or in other words, what makes it unlike any other brands and products available in your market. So for example, when I released my copywriter coaching program, the Copy Posse Launchpad, I knew my audience of aspiring copywriters was specifically looking for help creating a portfolio of highly paid copywriting assets to kickstart their career. And I knew that because I asked my subscribers in a survey what their greatest challenge was and what they were looking for in a coaching program. So on my sales page, I didn't just showcase testimonials from my previous clients and followers who have learned a lot from watching my YouTube videos, thanks by the way guys, but my headlines also made it very, very clear that my program was specifically designed to help you learn highly paid copywriting skills, write an irresistible portfolio, and ignite your copywriting business. By the way, I go much, much deeper into these five levels of customer awareness inside my program, and you can now get your hands on the exclusive recordings from the Copy Posse Launchpad at the link in the description below. All right, moving on to level number four of customer awareness, product aware. So at this level, your prospect is already familiar with your product. Chances are they're already a lead, a follower, or a subscriber. They're familiar with the problem that you're addressing and they know of other solutions that exist in the market. And yes, they've made the connection between their pain and what your product can do to help them solve it. But they are not sold quite yet. So at this level, you need to do some extra convincing to get them on the bandwagon. This is best done by injecting some scarcity or giving them an incentive to buy now, such as a free trial, a discount, or a bonus. So for example, online media providers such as Amazon Prime and Hulu, who need no introduction at this point, don't beat around the bush when it comes to their headlines. All they need to do to incentivize their audience is offer a free trial. Product-aware headlines are straight to the point and clearly communicate the offer. All of your TV in one place. Watch thousands of shows and movies with plans starting at $5.99 a month. Simple and effective. All right, now moving on to the final level of customer awareness, level five, very aware. So if you're a copywriter at this level, congratulations, because it means you're speaking to someone who is very aware of what you offer and they already think you're the best. These are often your existing customers and fans, which means your only job now is to keep the spark alive and keep them buying from you. 
So this customer knows what your product does, what your brand is all about, and provided they had a good experience with their previous purchase, are really likely to buy from you again if you provide something new or better. So at this level, you're simply giving them the option to add on, top up, or upgrade. Your copy can just cut straight to the chase and deliver the price and the offer. Is it a new version of your product? Does it come with a free gift or a bonus or delivery this time? Show them an even better offer if you can. And of course, I'm not saying that your headline should just be a price tag. A little curiosity and creativity can still go a long way when it comes to a very aware audience. A great example of copywriting at the most aware level comes from Apple. So Apple fans like me are die hard and all Apple has to do is announce a new iPhone or MacBook or iPad and there are literally a like lineup of people around the corner waiting for the latest model. People just wanna know what the latest features are, how much they have to pay for it, and most importantly, how they can get their hands on it right away. So there you have it guys, those are the five levels of customer awareness as outlined by Eugene Schwartz. Now come look over my shoulder as I walk you through a headline writing exercise based on these five levels. All right, so here we are behind the scenes inside my studio and I'm sharing my computer screen with you guys and I'm gonna walk you through my headline writing pyramid and guide to teach you how to write headlines at each level of customer awareness. Now, if you wanna get your hands on this pyramid along with my writing guide, you can click the link in the description below. All right, now the best way to get started copywriting anything is to see what other brands and businesses in your niche are doing. Now, in order to do that, I love to use Facebook's ad library. So head on over to Facebook, and for the sake of this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lark water bottle that I referenced earlier in this video. So I came on over to their fan page here, and now I'm simply going to scroll down to where it says page transparency, uh, and then I'm gonna click see all. And now I'm gonna scroll down to where it says go to ad library, and I'm gonna click on that. Uh, make sure to fil uh, filter the ad library to all so that you can see every ad they're running active and inactive. And I just scrolled through their ad library and pulled out all of the great hooks and headlines, either from the ad captions or uh, from headlines written right on the image images themselves. Uh, I scrolled through and I went and I checked out basically every single one of their ads just to get inspiration and see where they fall on the pyramid. I also went over to Lark's website and took a look at some of the copy that they have here on their site and pulled out some of the really great headlines and hooks that I saw. And then, this is the fun part, I went through my headline pyramid and guide and here's what that looks like. So you can see here the pyramid uh, based on the levels of awareness on one side, on the other side, of course, the focus of your copy or headlines. And then here I have five leading questions that'll really help you identify what level your headline is at. So under very aware, it's very clearly what do you want them to do? It's the next steps. You're talking to your most aware prospects or customers at this point. Next up, product aware. Why should they act now? Include scarcity and incentive. Solution aware, how are you different? The best, trustworthy, right? You wanna use social proof and really communicate your USP at this level. Problem aware, what's the problem you want to address? Here you wanna use pain, solution and benefits. And then of course, totally unaware, what is it that you want them to know? Uh, because they don't know anything. So what is it that you want them to know? Now, as you get to the base of your pyramid, your copy is gonna be more and more indirect. Of course, the top of the pyramid is where you get very specific. You're just going straight for the offer at this point. So after reviewing Lark's ad library and their website, I just pulled a few of the headlines that they have uh, and identified where they fall in this pyramid. So under totally aware, uh, what is it that you want them to know? Well, this first line is sort of my interpretation of their copy. It's that your water bottle could be causing you harm, right? That is what you'd wanna communicate to a totally unaware audience who didn't know that they should be really cleaning their water bottle every single day. So what do you want them to know? Well, what's living inside your water bottle? Don't get sick from your water bottle. This is, excuse the typo there, this is the last place you want harmful bacteria and viruses. And then finally, the dirty truth about your water bottle, which I pulled from the Lark website. So all of those are really, really great examples of unaware headlines. They're, they're attempting to bring an unaware audience into a pain aware audience. All right, now going up to the problem aware headlines. What's the problem you want to address? Well, as we just talked about, you want to address the problem of having a dirty water bottle, which could mean harmful bacteria. So again, scrolling through their ads, these are the headlines and hooks that I pulled. 
non-toxic UVC LED purifies water at the touch of a button. Self-cleaning mode activates every two hours to keep your bottle fresh. Not having to wash a water bottle, literally my dream. That's a quote from a testimonial. Spring cleaning, starting with that dirty water bottle. Protect yourself from bacteria, viruses, and biocontaminants with reliable UVC LED at the touch of a button, or Lark bottles eradicate up to 99.9999% of bacteria. So you can see all of those headlines are very, very targeted on the problem, which is harmful bacteria in your water bottle. All right, so then you're gonna move up to solution aware. How are you different, the best, and trustworthy? Well, again, going off of Lark's copy, I can see that they're the world's first self-cleaning water bottle and that they have an advanced patented technology. So that's really the USP that they wanna play up. So some headlines that I pulled for this level are the world's first self-cleaning bottle, a thousand plus five-star reviews, the world's first portable digital water purification system, that's a mouthful, and Lark's proprietary and patented Pure Vis trademarked, UVC LED technology is the most advanced in the world. So you can see there with, with this copy, they're really presenting themselves as the leader in the industry, uh, and they're utilizing social proof and USP to really stand out. All right, now moving to product aware. Why should they act now? Of course, get $20 off is a great one. You know, get a discount or to support a cause. Again, I got this from the Lark website. You can see that um, this is a very uh, product aware headline. Take $20 off and pay it forward. Uh, they're not even mentioning uh, the product here. So they're assuming you know what the product is. Obviously, you've come to their website and then they're uh, donating money to Direct Relief, supporting frontline workers fighting COVID-19, which is awesome to see. Uh, or order now, get free shipping. Order now, get 50% off, right? This is where you really play up scarcity and incentive. Now, lastly, moving to the very aware audience, the question is simply, what do you want them to do? And of course, that is to buy if you're writing a sales page, but this also could apply to an ad. Uh, what do you want them to do? Click, right? Or a landing page, what do you want them to do? Sign up. Uh, in this scenario, I, I used the, uh, the buy as the most wanted response. And so very simple headlines, shop now, personalize your bottle, buy now, upgrade now, select your bottle. Those are just classic examples of very aware headlines that Lark might be using uh, to that particular audience. All right, guys, there you have it, my headline writing pyramid and guide. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to download a blank copy of this template, you can click the link in the description below. I highly recommend you use this as a starting point, not only for your headlines, but for all the copy that you write. Think of who your audience is. Ask yourself these five questions. You can come up with a set of headlines at each level, and that'll give you an awesome swipe file to pull from for future copy assets for that product or brand. Best of luck, and I'll see you back inside the studio. All right, guys. So to to recap, step one, research ads in your niche. Step two, identify what level their headlines and hooks fall under. And step three, download my headline writing pyramid and guide to help you write headlines at each level of customer awareness. You can get your hands on that in the description below. And give me a thumbs up if this video has been helpful for you. Next up, check out my video on Eugene Schwartz's five levels of market sophistication. You can watch that right here. And while you're at it, check out my video on how to create your very own customer avatar profile. You can watch that right here. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the Global Copy Posse. I will be back next week with a brand new video. Until then, I'm Alex. Ciao for now. How to write headlines that don't suck. 